Hello, Tiffany Ariel here. So today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. Um, basically, I just had a bunch of different makeup products to try out. So I'm just going to be sitting here and talking you guys through the new products as I try them out. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so as I said, this is going to be a get ready with me. I have a bunch of new products to try out. Um, so how many things do I have? All of this is new and I think I have one more thing but yeah so I'll talk about each individual product as I do it so first I'm going to prime my face and this is not really gonna be like a chit chat get ready with me so I'm probably gonna like skip through the parts of my face that are just you know normal and just focus on the new products so this primer is the new primer that I have this is a bare minerals primetime original foundation primer um, most of these were in a birthday gift that one of my sorority sisters gave me and one of them I did get in a box box from influencer um, that one is the setting powder so we'll get to that at the end but this primer feels really silky it feels really smooth um, it definitely feels like it's gonna cause very smooth makeup application so I am going to actually use the powder now and I'm going to go ahead and set my primer. So this is the new Ultra HD Matte Setting Powder from Makeup Forever. It says the power of the invisible. It says you're supposed to dab the puff into the powder to pick up a small amount. Apply over foundation and concealer starting at the center of the face and moving outwards in a dabbing motion. Use the tip of the puff to apply around the corners of the eyes and nose. Then it also says, pro tip for a crisp lip application, apply a thin layer of powder before liner and lipstick. I've never done that before, but I will try that today. But for now, we're just going to um, use the puff and the primer. And I really like this packaging. So this actually has a proper like lid. So like, I'm pulling on this, and it's not just lifting. So that is really good. That will help keep your powder in side of here and not just everywhere but how do i get this out of here i don't know well we'll see i don't think i got enough no i definitely didn't okay this color is good it's a little bit it's kind of a bronzy tone like copper copper that's a good color okay i don't like this so I feel like nothing is coming out. Am I supposed to take this off? Well, I guess it's good. It's just like barely any is coming out and I'm not used to, I'm not used to um, applying powders with poof. So I think that's probably why I'm, I feel like there's nothing coming out of here. So I'm having to like, yeah I think I would rather do this with a brush that's what I'm gonna do on top of my foundation and stuff because this is not not filling it not filling it okay so we've set the primer so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my base face so I'm gonna skip through this this is the same thing that I've done a million times before Fenty foundation and Fenty matchsticks Alright, so I got my foundation on, got my slight contour, I didn't do anything major. And now I'm gonna see if I can use this brush with this to see if I can get some out, but I don't know if I can do that. Oh, this might work, maybe? No. This is really like annoying. 
Okay, so pro to this packaging is that the powder does not get everywhere. Con to this packaging is that it's really hard to actually get powder out. But I guess it's a trade-off. So, yeah. All right, so we got that. Now I'm going to do... Now this is supposed to be a complexion kit. So this is part of the Coach by Sephora collection. So let me show you the outside look. It's this really cute like unicorn. And it actually comes on a keychain, which I don't know why anybody would carry this on a keychain. It seems like a horrible idea. But um, it has this, which I think should be a blush. There's this, which I think is supposed to be a bronzer, but this is not gonna be bronze on my skin. And then this is a highlight. So I am gonna try this blush and we will see how this goes. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, yeah, this is good. It's subtle, which is good because it's daytime and I'm not really going anywhere. Besides to run errands. Okay, yeah, this is really pretty. I really like this blush. I was worried it wasn't gonna show up, but it looks good. I like it. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and do the highlight. And then I'll do my brows and my eyes. Also, the color, the blush color is called rose. This highlight color is called bronze. Oh, that's a lot. I did not mean to get that much. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's actually a lot, but let me just blend that a little bit because I didn't think I put that much. What does that look like? How's that showing up? Yeah? I like this and now I'm going to do my eyes actually no I'll do my brows and then I'll come back all right brows are done you're back for the eyes so just primer, which I really don't even think I need this, but I'll put on a little bit just because. And I'm actually going to use this like complexion palette on my eyes because I feel like this rose is really pretty and I think this clay would work really well as an eyeshadow like base since it's definitely not going to bronze me and yes this is perfect for a nice neutral eye so you see I'm just putting this all over my lid and I'm going to do the other eye. I feel like I need something a little bit browner to like do the crease. Yeah, I think so. Let me find, get a darker brown. All right, I got a darker brown from this um, Sephora eyeshadow palette. I've used this before, but I'm just gonna use this um, middle color. I never use that other color, it's like way too dark. So I just want like a very light kind of smoky effect, not anything crazy because again, it is the middle of the day. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to apply this rose color kind of in the middle, I guess. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Just to add a little bit of a pop, nothing crazy. Yes, beautiful. nice like pinky nude 
just perfect. Oh yeah, this is actually good. I like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this mini brush and I'm gonna add this same rose color under my bottom lash line because I kind of just want a bit of color. And also I need to do something about the concealer that's kind of caked a little bit right there. So this is gonna kind of kill two birds with one stone. pretty much it um i'm gonna do my lashes and then i'll come back um i have this milk makeup mascara and then i'm gonna use my glamnetic lashes wherever they are So face is pretty much done. Only thing I have left is my lips. So I'm gonna actually try the whole powder before lip product trick. So I'm gonna use the poo for this. I've never done this before. Well, no, I've never done this before, so. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put. Okay, well. That don't have to do, because I'm not about to. And lip liner, I'm gonna use my NYX. This needs to be sharpened. And for lipstick, I have this Bare Minerals Gen Nude. This is one of the things that was in my gift from my sorority sister. And I'm just gonna apply this. Oh, I don't even need a gloss. This is already kind of glossy. It's a little bit sticky. But it's cute. I like it. I feel like a different lip liner would have been better. Something that was a little bit more pink and not as red. But this will have to do for now. And I actually forgot about one more thing. I also have this one that also says Bare Minerals Gin Nude. But it's not a lip product. This one is like an eye topper. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the eyelids even though it's daytime but you know why not we have it we're trying to try all the new stuff and then just blend that with my finger let me add a little bit more this is really pretty i really like this this is a really good way of just kind of adding a little bit of sparkle to your look i guess you could probably use this like on your face too like if you just wanted a shimmery face there's actually kind of a lot on this left eye but whatever it is what it is and that is it let me just clean this up a tad bit because i just got that all over my face so now i'm about to go and i'm going to take my hair out and get dressed do my jewelry you know all that good stuff and then i'll show you all the final final look Alrighty, I am done. I've taken my hair out, got my jewelry, necklace, bracelet, 
earrings and yeah I'm really liking this look it's giving very much like casual nighttime or like really cute like daytime vibes so I'm really just running some errands today well I am gonna film another video so I guess I'll be cute for that um but after that I'm just literally running errands today but you know got my cute little outfit I just have on some jeans with this top nothing crazy so overall I'm pretty happy with everything I tried I didn't dislike anything the only thing is the packaging of this setting powder from makeup forever is kind of iffy um it definitely has pros and cons the pros you won't accidentally spill makeup everywhere but the con is that it's really hard to get the powder out when you actually want it to come out um outside of that everything i'm pretty happy with um this primer i really like the feel of this i need to look up how much this costs like full price because i may switch to this over fenty we'll see i just i like the consistency of this a lot um this topper i can definitely see becoming a staple in my routine i really like this lip color for a nice little daytime casual vibe like what i have going on editing tiffany here i wanted to go ahead and insert a picture of what my makeup looked like about probably seven hours after i finished this video and it did hold up pretty well i can see that everything was still pretty much intact and i did not use any type of setting spray this was only set with the powder so definitely thumbs up on the powder good job makeup forever so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and end this video so don't forget to like subscribe and share with all your friends and i'll see you guys next time bye